Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Simply Gothic one and I have a brand new stainless steel jewellery collection to share with you and I'm so so excited. <laughs> there are 10 things in this collection so quite a lot to go through so I hope you absolutely love this video, love the collection, um, don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into the video. Just before though if you can hear like a humming kind of noise i do have my fan to the right of me i literally can't film without a fan anymore because i just get way too hot <laughs> so the window's open the fan is on so i am sorry for any of the kind of background noises so yes i do have a brand new stainless steel jewelry collection it doesn't have a theme as such it's got quite a lot of different things like it's got moths bats ghosts roses skulls i'm looking down because like it's right over here <laughs> so yeah quite the range it will be launching i believe at the end of june i'm filming this on the 21st of june but i'm not sure when this collection will be going up so i'll put the date that it goes live on the screen for you here and the time i believe it will be about 6 p.m i always try and release my things at 6 p.m in british time so it still works out at a good time for my international customers so it's usually at 6pm so I'm going to show you all of the collection in detail I'll start with the one that arrived the other day now I've done some word necklaces in my shop before I've got so many I've got haunted bite me Dracula ghoul villain like so many Wednesday nevermore and I really wanted to bring out some more so one new one will be in this collection and I don't know why I didn't bring this out sooner but it's a goth one so I asked you on my Instagram story I think I gave you like an option of about five or six and I got you to vote for the one that you would really like and the one you would most likely wear and this was definitely one of the top ones just like my other stainless steel word necklaces you've got the word in the old English text this is the same text that I use for my logo so it kind of fits perfectly brand wise and it's on a stainless steel chain with a lobster clasp and an extender chain so I'll show you that all up close because you probably didn't see any of that <laughs> so this is the pendant and I love how these catch the light like I love how stainless steel does that it's really really shiny and it's as you can see like it's not huge so it'd be perfect to kind of wear um maybe layered or if you kind of like more light simplistic necklaces or even if you wanted to wear this at work um you could definitely wear this because it's not too obvious but you'd still feel a bit more like yourself so you could definitely wear this a bunch of different ways and then the chain the chain looks like this and then there is an extender chain here which is probably about three inches maybe and then a lobster clasp as well my camera did very well when focusing that i'm surprised <laughs> it usually just wants to absolutely fail on me but yeah so this is the first one in the collection and i also have in the works a gothic wedding collection which i had the idea of and i wasn't sure if you'd be interested in that so let me know if you are in the comments but i asked you also on instagram if you follow me on instagram and there was a lot more interest than i thought so that will be coming soon and i'm hoping to also bring out a wedding planner because i've seen a lot of requests for a gothic wedding planner um, and that's something i could use as well <laughs> so yeah stay tuned <laughs> next up i'll go for some earrings now you might remember actually i have the necklace so i will go get it you might remember that i bought this one out quite a while ago probably two years ago maybe and it's this really like chunky skull necklace and i wear this one so much like it's got such a lovely weight to it the skull is really detailed which i love um and i just wear it as i said a lot <laughs> and i often had requests for matching earrings however because this pendant is so lovely and heavy as you can see like it literally falls <laughs> if i don't hold on to it this was not ideal for earrings so i had a look to see what kind of pendants i could find that would match that really well but not have that same weight to it because i feel like earrings the number one concern apart from kind of metals is the weight to it because you don't really want heavy earrings i mean some people don't mind that and it kind of depends on your preference and what you're okay with so i found mini skulls <laughs> and these i have to say are adorable i would 100 percent wear these if i had my ears pissed so they're very similar they're not as detailed as the big one but i guess that makes sense because they're 
a lot smaller but they just match perfectly they still have like some weight to them but they're nowhere near as heavy as the necklace so this is great if you have that necklace and you always wanted some matching earrings they're still super detailed hopefully you can see they still have like the black eye sockets the nose and all of the teeth outlined and kind of all of the jaw structure here and they just are very very cute very creepy and then they have the black bead at the top of them with all of my stainless steel jewelry you get the choice of stainless steel fish hooks which are these and they also have the rubber backs so they won't like fall out your ears or anything if they're like more of a lighter pendant you can also have the choice of hoops that word completely escaped my brain um yeah hoops 20 millimeter hoops so they're about this big um so if you prefer hoops you can choose that over these and the beads are also glass they're not plastic or anything so they're really nice quality and these also sparkle in the light which is really pretty i'll try and see if i can get it to do it yeah like that because they're all like they've got different sides on them because they're kind of like a diamond shape so they catch the light really beautifully that is the little skull earrings also these are a little bit more hollow compared to the necklace the necklace isn't hollow like at all it's very chunky whereas these have been hollowed out a little bit to make them lighter very cute very creepy and this would make such a cute set i might have to group them together <laughs> okay the next pair of earrings are rose earrings i don't have the rose necklace on me at the moment but i have a rose necklace that is exactly the same pendant and i got asked on etsy if i could make some rose earrings and i thought why have i never done that before <laughs> so i am bringing them out in this collection so they're exactly the same pendant and they look like this these would also be perfect for like if you're looking for gothic wedding jewellery because they still look very elegant. They look very very pretty and they're roses with all of these leaves. These ones don't have the beads because they're already like quite a big pendant so with the glass beads they drop down a little bit too much and the necklace also doesn't have a bead on it so I feel like these work better with just some stainless steel jump rings that have been kind of not threaded but looped through there and again you do get the choice of the fish hooks or the 20 millimeter hoops so that is the rose ones and all of the ones i am showing you apart from two are made from stainless steel so if you're not sure what like stainless steel is it's basically i do actually have a blog post on it so i will I can't link it in the eye because it's a blog post but i'll link it in the description for you because I, I have a whole blog post on my website about the differences between stainless steel jewelry and silver plated jewelry which is what i also offer so most of this is stainless steel but i've got three pieces that are silver plated but stainless steel is a really good material it's not as valuable as like sterling silver or silver plated because it doesn't have silver in it as you can tell this is a very like gray kind of color which is what stainless steel is it's really good usually if you have allergies because it doesn't rust and it doesn't tarnish sometimes silver even if it's like solid sterling silver um it can still turn like that brownie gold kind of color because you have to keep like polishing it and really look after it and it's also a really soft metal so it's more likely to bend and all of that so stainless steel the main benefits are it doesn't rust it doesn't tarnish it doesn't turn your skin green that's why i wear stainless steel rings <laughs> it's usually a very strong and durable material so you can kind of not that you'd want to like hit it against things but it's a very strong metal and that's why it's a popular choice with jewelry so there's some facts for you <laughs> um but silver plated is sometimes preferred because it has that like silver kind of expensive look so that's kind of the difference but if you want all of the information go check out my blog post i will go through a necklace next because this is the last one that doesn't have like a matching thing to it all of the three things after this have like a necklace and earrings so this is a chunky bat it's a very chunky bat i've just put a chain through it so you can kind of get a better idea but it's a really chunky heavy bat necklace i saw this pendant and i was like that's gorgeous it looks really vampy very very statementy um and if you love kind of really chunky jewelry like it's even 
heavier than the skull like it's just huge so if you love a statement necklace this is for you <laughs> so it's got this gorgeous bat pendant it's literally massive it's about the size of all my fingers and you can see his little face hopefully the camera focuses like you can see his eyes and his nose I loved the shaping of this bat I think it's really unique usually bats have like the wings outwards but I love how they come up like this and all the details in the wings are gorgeous and it is a double-sided pendant so there is details in the back which I absolutely loved with this one so yeah just a very chunky looking bat necklace and the chain that this one will be on will be one like this so it will have a stainless steel chain I love these chains because you can actually adjust them to any length that you want which is so helpful that's one of my like pet peeves when I get jewelry is if I can't adjust them to my length that I want because if I wear a choker and it sits like way down here I'm like no it has to sit here <laughs> so i'm really picky with the chain that i use because i want you to be able to adjust it to where you want like if you want it a bit shorter you can do that but also if maybe you have a larger neck then you can also use the extender chain to make it longer so i try to make the chains appeal to everyone <laughs> Um, also if you do require a longer chain I'm happy to do that and um, that's the same with my necklaces and bracelets as well absolutely love this one perfect if you love bats and a vampire aesthetic I feel like it's just a gorgeous pendant next up are ghosts and again I nearly screamed when I saw this pendant I think it's super Halloweeny super fun perfect if you love ghosts <laughs> again it's quite a chunky pendant more of a statement piece not as anywhere near like the bat one is but it's still quite a big pendant and it's basically this circle and it's got this really happy ghost with like a tooth and he's got his little arms and his swirly tail and he just looks so happy <laughs> so this is what he looks like and again i was saying earlier about how stainless steel captures the light like it's so so pretty and he's just adorable and again if it flips like you still have the design again it's got the black glass bead the bayou up here and then the stainless steel chain I just think this is so cute adorable <laughs> this pendant definitely has some weight to it it's also a very chunky pendant I didn't think it would be like this thick so it's definitely chunky so yeah a very very cute ghost necklace and to go along with that there are matching earrings this pendant as I said was chunkier and bigger than I thought it was so these are definitely more like statement earrings I would say they're a tiny bit on the heavy side maybe similar to the ank earrings that I have in my shop but they're so cute and so fun <laughs> especially when they're together they just look like a little cute ghost couple <laughs> and perfect if you love ghosts and again fish hooks and black glass beads breaking it up a bit now i will go on to the silver plated now i don't usually pick silver plated charms i usually pick stainless steel charms or i design my own like acrylic charms but i saw this pendant and i just thought it was so perfect for summer because when i think of summer i think more of like nature of like butterflies and all of that i don't know why i guess because you're out more generally in summer and i saw this and i was like this is the perfect spooky little butterfly and it is a enamel pendant but i just couldn't resist this one and i thought it was so unique because i haven't seen anything like this and this is what it looks like so it's in the shape of a butterfly the body is a coffin <laughs> love that <laughs> with a cross on it and then the wings are skulls so you've got the skull face with the teeth and you've also got cobwebs in the corners of the wings just never seen anything like it and this would be the perfect necklace for summer and this one would come on a silver plated chain with all the silver plated kind of clasps and extender chains and all of that and then the matching earrings look like this again really really cute so this is the earrings Again, these catch the light really nicely as well so they would kind of hang like this 
and ones that are similar and i nearly didn't get these because they were so similar but i was like i have wanted a stainless steel death head moth necklace for such a long time i did acrylic ones and i am considering like redoing those because that was when i used ink to fill in all the sections it took forever and i prefer the printed look of acrylic so i am considering bringing out like a big statement death head moth in acrylic with my design on it but i saw these and i just thought these were so pretty so this is definitely a smaller one so it's the same size as the butterfly one so it's not like a massive statement death head moth necklace but it's still gorgeous and still really really elegant it catches the light beautifully so this is what this one looks like and you can see the skull carved out in the middle so this is like engraved like and cut out and it's so pretty i've already had quite a few comments about this one and i have a feeling this one will be quite popular there are also these earrings I would 100% wear these if I had my ears pissed. <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. So that was the last item in this collection. So 10 pieces in total. So this collection will go live on this date. <laughs> I'm hoping to get it kind of around the payday for you because it just makes things easier. However, I also do have Clearpay, Klarna, PayPal and like normal debit cards. So you do have a range of options at checkout. So yeah, I'm really excited about this collection. I hope you are too. Let me know your favourites in the comments. Let me know if you're planning on picking anything up. I will leave the link in the description box for you. I'll try and put this video up on the launch if I can because I am pre-filming this so I thought it would make it easier so I can put it up exactly when I know um, when it's going to go live so hopefully the links will all be down there tap those and check out this collection you can also join my mailing list so I'll also have that linked in the description box below that's usually like the second link that I put but if you sign up to that you do get a coupon you also get a free ebook about confidence you get to know a little bit more about my brand if you're fairly new so I would recommend that so I hope you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and hopefully I will see you in my next one Bye.